Occupy Buffalo has people from different classes coming together and making common cause. And uh, <laughs> so the thought is, instead of going from the classroom and bringing some things to Occupy Buffalo, how about reversing the direction and having someone from Occupy Buffalo come into the classroom? So what I would ask is for the group itself to vote as to who, you know, you can nominate people and, and then, uh, you know, select a person. Um, who do you think would be most committed and would benefit the most from attending a class that I teach, but you'd have to come to the whole semester. So I'm teaching intro to philosophy. I do it from a multicultural perspective. I teach Western philosophy, I teach Eastern philosophy, meaning Indian and Chinese philosophy. Um, that's 41 classes, nine in the morning. A lot of people, people who pay, unfortunately, don't always come. Um, so I frankly don't want someone to, come to, to you know, say they're gonna do it and then peter out halfway. Um, it's not easy to be a student, it's hard work. But it's the most rewarding work, I think, you can engage in. The other class, is um, race and philosophy. It meets 14 times, uh, three hours on a Thursday night. Um, we answer two questions. The students are challenged to answer two questions. What is race? Um, taking that as a factual question in terms of a part of reality and something that can be known. And then there's a normative question. What place should race have in an ethical life? So uh, we read five books and uh, there you have it. So, uh, you know, maybe uh, this group can decide if they want to, um, who, who would they nominate? Who do you think of as a person who has a love of learning and that showed themselves to be diligent, hardworking? and would actually carry through and be... Maybe you need to think about it. Maybe it's not the kind of thing you just respond to immediately. Um, but uh, there you have it. So, can you clarify the proposal? For the occupiers to pick someone from our group who would go. And of course, you'd be coming into the classroom as my friend. You wouldn't be paying. And that's what I have to talk to the university about. <laughs> Make sure that's uh, copacetic. Because uh, Canisius College is $35,000 a year. So it's a good education. I, I got a good education. I went to a school called Brandeis, the Jewish Harvard. When I went there, it was the third most expensive college in the, in the, in the country. And uh, I'm so happy. And I'm so, I feel so blessed because I had that uh, opportunity. But I worked my ass off. might be a little embarrassing to you. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have a mic? <laughs> it's embarrassing. Give me the mic. Yes, yes, yes. 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 So, um, I also want to say, though, that this is an amazing opportunity that Heron is giving you. Not because you get a chance to walk into a classroom at the university and take the course. Although, right, that can be a great opportunity, too. But uh, I... Heron and I are in the same graduate program, and I've taught at the same school that he's taught in. I've sat in his office, in his office, a shared office, while his students come in and have conversations with him. And I've shared offices with lots and lots of philosophy professors. And I have to say, listening in on his office hours is by far some of the most interesting conversations I've li listened in on ever. Right. So the good opportunity is not that you get to sit in a university classroom and audit a class. It's that you get to sit in a university classroom and audit Heron's class. Woo! And so I just wanted to, to plug that because I think he's a bit modest to say it himself. That's very nice. I wouldn't say that. <laughs> That's why somebody had to. Right, thank you. I want to go. I wish I was right. go.
could be it, that's that's a serious dude right there. And I seriously would like to. Go. So the proposal uh, is to have people from Occupy, I guess, through School of Everything. Would that be the the medium? Yes. So to, to go through the School of Everything working group. Uh, to have people chosen to participate in, in uh, the Canisius College uh, class. Is that uh, clear? Is that fair to say? I would grade your work, you would participate in everything. It would just, you wouldn't be paying anything, you'd be coming as my friend. That's awesome. Uh, point of information? Is this, is this a proposal for one individual from Occupy? That's my thought. So they go to both classes, one individual. Uh, no, they could go to one, the one that they think is is better. Um, it could be two people if if there'd be one person for each class. One more question. <laughs> um, do you have an idea about how to arrive at that person? About what process we should use to decide who that yeah, person is? Yeah, they get no, they get nominated and they get voted for by the people so, uh, uh, um, here. One more question: Would it be would it would it be like a list like the people first of all people wanting to be or just we they have to be nominated to even be on the list? I would think that they should they yeah, should want to be there. Be, that's their own nomination. Okay. Yep. Yeah. People yeah. are motivated. Yes. Yes. Someone and to go and make them go yeah. some, places, yeah. some people are shy; they wouldn't come forward, so they can be nominated. Other people, if they want to say themselves that they would do it. You know, so there's there's two things. We'll go step by step first. Is everybody is anybody opposed to this idea in principle, or is anybody does everybody have a, I mean to have a education, to have an occupier go to Canisius College to. No, I'm just saying is that he's taking he's taking it's called room temp. Yeah, we're good. I mean, is there for for moral or safety or ethical reasons is this against occupy? No. Okay, so then. The second part is we have to determine a process to bring that student to Heron's classroom. And the suggestion at this moment was uh, to go through the uh, School of Everything working group. Now, is that, um, is, any, is that a fair way to go? Is, it, is people in agreement with that uh, point of information? Um, or it's not really, it's just a comment. Um, I would prefer to just vote in the GA instead of have it go through another group. Because the and my and my reason behind that is because the, the the education working group doesn't I mean everybody's not in that so if we're if this is going to be something that, that the GA is going to do then let the GA do it. that's my point. well I'm thinking the school of everything could organize the nominations so that they're brought to the the school of everything could organize the nominations and the volunteers that are interested and then we'll bring that list to the GA for a vote. What's the time frame? Um, can I, can someone take notes while I'm doing this? What do you want to do? Just, the just, uh, meantime. yeah, and when we come to a vote, just, uh, what the vote is. Um, is so the point of clarification? Well, I don't, you know, sorry, I'm not sure if it's clarification or process. It seems to me like putting it, instead of just the general assembly, but putting this through the school of everything would be a good precedent because then it creates a structure for future similar kind of things like oh okay we've sponsored a student to go to Canisius College to audit this class maybe we could sponsor students to go to other classes you know so it really makes sense to me so at the moment there's two two routes of action one is to go through the general assembly and one is to go through the school of everything and then the General Assembly. So, the, so one is to be more structured, and one is that. Uh, is there another point of clarification? I just wanted to suggest that, um, considering like how great an opportunity this is, I think that there might be a lot of people who would want to do it, and it might come down to like a popularity contest. I, I think the fairest way to do it would be to have people who would actually commit to doing it, put their name in a hat, and then just draw one of those. Um, so basically, a uh, lottery system no. considering how many people might want to do it. But, um, I'm assuming that Henry or and uh, Aaron wants um, someone who is committed to this process and someone who's interested in education. So there, I think there has to be some criteria established uh, to bring the most out. Yeah. 
uh, also there's a thing about uh, people being the recipient of the trust of others. So if it was just random and we just picked out someone, you know, then they're just lucky. But if that person gets selected, then it's that other people believe in them. So again, the, the, the proposal, the question is um, the, the process of selecting this individual to participate in, in, in Heron's classroom. gets chosen could report back to the others that wanted to originally be in the class as well so the knowledge just keeps forwarding that, that's that's good but that we first have to establish that the person that goes initially so nine o'clock in the morning Monday Wednesday Friday that's introduction to philosophy from multicultural perspective the 18th Yes, and then the 19th is the Race and Philosophy class. It's 6 p.m. to uh, 9 p.m. So there are, there are 10 days to, 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 to people to self-nominate and then to, to vote the, uh, the candidate. I would like to decide it. If, I thought it would happen this today, but if, if, if we want, we can take nominations today and then vote next week. How do you want to go? Do you want people, do you want somebody today or do you want a process to be established? Um, if it's fairer to have a process, fine. I assumed it would just be today, but you know, I want people to feel satisfied with what happened. So if we need a process, let's just do that. So at the, recommenda at the recommendation we have right now is to go through the school of everything. Is there any other uh, second, is, uh, is there any second perspective on, second uh, opinion about a process? Is anyone interested? Yeah. One, two. Yeah. yeah. If it's just two people, Chuck then let's just vote on those two. Yeah. I'm interested. Bob, you want to two? Uh, three people. Anyone else interested? Is just two or three? There's what? some people that aren't here, like yeah. Vivo, Steve. Yeah. I think a few people. All right, so, you know, I'm fine with taking the names and then, you know, taking a week, okay. giving people a chance to contact me, uh, contact Linda, so forth, and then we come back and vote on it next week. Is there anybody on notes it's right now? Yeah. Okay. So, one week from today at the next General Assembly on Saturday, there will be a, a list of names that will be presented to the GA and then we'll determine who, and those names will be given to the School of Everything. Right. Is that a fair proposal? Okay. Is anybody opposed to that? Everybody in favor? So, Heron will have a student next week. Or we'll vote on the student next week. And uh, let's just be clear about it. So is it going to be one student or two? Well, that's, do you, uh, I'm, if it's one per class is what I'm saying. Two students. One one for class. Class. That's, yeah, great. And you're your two classes? Yeah. Yes. So, one for each class? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So, we need two students, one for each class. Yes. Okay, you got the. So, that proposal's passed. Cool. Um, awesome. Uh, Beautiful woo! opportunity. Okay. Two proposals from. Well, one at a time. First proposal from Henry. <laughs> Hey folks, I have a couple proposals. One was um, brought up quite some time ago and was revised and was tabled and we'll bring it back today. Uh, we'll get to that one in a moment. So uh, first proposal, two points. That we cannot begin a GA until roles are chosen or assigned, those roles being the facilitator, timekeeper, vibes watch, and the scribe or note taker. And the, Is your proposal? Yes. Okay. And point number two, that we cannot conclude a GA until someone claims responsibility for posting the minutes online, and recapping the proposals passed and tabled, and the action items. Hey, can you just make an announcement that Food Not Bombs is still we here? Did. We did. Yeah. Okay, Food Not Bombs is still here. So people uh, are being asked to remind folks that Food Not Bombs is still here, so if you want to get food, there's still a little bit left. Uh, again, if you're going to get food, please come right back here. But right now, I have a proposal on the table. So it was seconded. I heard somebody say it. The proposal to recap, and I'll ask for uh, any comments, concerns, questions. 
is that we cannot begin a general assembly until the roles of facilitator, timekeeper, vibes, and scribe have been chosen or assigned. And we cannot conclude a general assembly until someone claims responsibility for posting the minutes, recapping the past or tabled items, and uh, recapping the action items. Second. So it's seconded. Um, anybody? Uh, again, uh, can someone take notes? Because I, I, I have to do. I can't do both. She left. She'll be back. Jamie, Jamie had to run. She'll be back. She isn't back yet. Can we have somebody be an interim note taker. Just for a couple minutes. Thank you, Amanda. You're welcome. Henry's proposal. Henry. So we had it. Any comments or questions or concerns yeah, about question. this? So there's a question on a proposal. When are they supposed to go into effect? This year or next year? Uh, immediately. So after this year, and I would say, I would say uh, immediately. What are you saying there at the end of this year? Because oh. one is about the conclusion of a GA, so that would go into effect immediately. The other one would start the next time around. So we're choosing goals for the next year? No. I'm saying this. it's two points. One point about the GA cannot conclude until we have someone to claim responsibility for posting the policy. That would go into effect immediately. Okay. So the, it would take effect immediately. Our question. Question. Um, how, how? What if it's a GA? Can you read the? I know there's scribe. There's scribe. There's there's facilitator. There's vibes. There's um, a timekeeper. Is there anything else? Okay. I was just wondering. Cause, what? Stack, what about stack? That kind of goes with facilitation. If it's a small group, you don't really need a stack taker. If it's a big group, you would have someone take stack. <coughs> so, any other concerns? Within the Occupy movement, those are the four roles that are agreed upon. And we generally try to introduce them in all GAs. And, and Henry's asking that we officially formalize it. In terms of the notes, you said, can you read the second part again? Because that's I'm not clear about. That we cannot conclude the GA, that like the GA is concluded only when someone claims responsibility for posting the minutes online. I don't even care where. It could be Facebook.org, on the blog, whatever. Just as long as minutes are posted online. Whose responsibility would that be? Everyone. Could be someone who wouldn't be the note takers? It could be it, it could be anybody that has access to any online forum for Occupy Buffalo. So what? So if a facilitator, so I'm just a technical question, but if a facilitator for whatever reason, say it's an emotional GA, say people it's in the rain or it starts lightning, and literally the facilitator forgets to make sure somebody does that at the end doesn't conclude with saying who's going to take on this responsibility and it doesn't get done, does that mean the GA is still going on? I mean. Or is this and more that's kind of like a, the law that's like a philosophical law. thing? I think if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. The whole point is to make it a point to do it. Okay. If somebody gets that's what I want to be clear on. That's the spirit to make it happen. Not it wasn't some kind of like okay. I just want to be clear. <laughs> you can just try that at the beginning too. Right. You can just decide that person at the beginning too. Right. Yeah. So anything else? Is there any more discussion on these official roles of the GA? All in favor? Any blocks? Blocks. So we'll ask you for reasons for your blocks. Well, as we are part of the 99%, and we demand a voice and the censorship. Uh, well, that, that has nothing to do with the proposal whatsoever. And block. Wait, but you're not. Wait, wait, wait. No, wait, wait. So, no, 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 no. Okay, wait a minute. That's a, it's not even relevant. It's not even logical. Right. Yeah. Let me let me, the, the proposal is for official roles for people to fulfill during a GA, and and I don't understand the reason that you're blocking it. How many blocks are there? I thought two. Two, but, but they, they're not even blocks. I mean, do, do your blocks address the that the safety of the Occupy movement or the morality of the Occupy is having a timekeeper? against the ethics of the Occupy movement, for instance. That's that's what you have to answer. Then if it's the answer is no, then your plots are relevant.
I can't hear you. Speak into the mic, no. Bill. Were you here when I spoke? Yeah. Oh, so much more it's just like, I'm not understanding. Oh. Come forward you and talk. You had a block. general assembly where you decided something oh, and you fired. Aaron, Aaron, Aaron. You have a block. Speak Can you come up here for you? You bet. I sure can. What's your name? Darren. Darren. He's going to try to uh, he's gonna defend his block. Yes. I spoke earlier uh, that you had a GA previously, the same thing, and you had a unanimous vote. And you have violated that vote. I'm calling you on process. It's as simple as that. What so now I'm violating your process. Can you be specific? Yes, I, I was. When I, maybe you weren't here before. I explained. You had a GA on November 12th in which you decided that there would be no censorship at Niagara Square, nor would there be at Facebooks or on your website, OccupyBuffalo.org. Okay? You had that vote and it was passed. I'm violating your process. All right, there's this block. You, well, you have violated it. Okay. Because you have censored. There's a, uh, there's a, uh, have you been censored? There's points of process here. And, and I'm, a, and I'm assuming the points of process are addressing. Okay, well, you violated okay. the process. Okay, all right, good. Can, 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 I, can I counter the, <laughs> speak counter to the block? Oh there are points of process that I think are addressing the irrelevance of the block right. to, to, the, to, the pro, to the proposal. Okay. So I just want to see the proposal. I just want to recap here. The proposal is about the start and end of the GA, <laughs> having clear roles defined, facilitator, timekeeper, scribe, and vibes check at the beginning and somebody to post them online at the end. We had everybody vote and had everybody in favor. We have two blocks that are really questionably, like not even at all addressing the points that are on the table. They're just some blocks for the sake of blocking. So can I get a show of hands of all those in favor who uh, favor the proposal for having the clear rules defined? So keep your hands up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 1, 2, 3, 4, Can we do this count by having the person see, count on. the number? So each person says a number. They put their hands down, and sure. then we continue until all hands are Okay, so, so the proposal is to count out. So just count out loud. I'm going to just go around. So 1, 2, two 3, three four, 4, 5, 12, 6, Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. Twenty-one. Twenty-two. Twenty-three. Twenty-four. Twenty-five. Twenty-five. Twenty-six. Twenty-seven. Twenty-eight. Twenty-nine. Thirty. Thirty-one. Thirty-two. Thirty-three. Thirty-four. Back there. Thirty-five. Francisco Foods. 36. 37. 38. 40. <laughs> All right. So that's... Hey, so that, th there's 40 and there's two blocks. His hands are in the back. So Is there's... 41. Um, oh, yeah. 42. Who's standing aside? Who's standing aside? Stand aside doesn't count. For or against. It means it's not voting. So at... Okay, now according to facilitation, the 95% consensus uh, that that is passed, and that the blocks were were withdrawn for irrelevance that weren't addressed the proposal. So the proposal passes that uh, at all GAs there will have to be a, there will be an assignment for structural reasons. There will be a facilitator, a vibes keeper, a scribe, and and a timekeeper, and that uh, responsibility from that group will be taken to post the notes, uh, the minutes on the uh, the web. All right. Okay. Thank you. Woo! Yeah. yeah. Tell me what democracy looks like. This is what democracy looks like. All right. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. no, no. Let, let's, uh, We're, I, hold on. Let's 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 stay focused. I know we're excited. We there's this. Let's just try to stay focused and on point, please. You know the no second. Per you want socialism in this country, not outright communism. Okay. Uh, the second. 
order it. Thank I don't you order it. Thanks for sharing your opinion. It's, it's fact. Uh, you left it's not a fact. None of us want socialism. None Sir. of us want communism. Stop. Stop. I don't. No, we're here. You don't speak right. for us. Hold on. 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 To, to not to not feed the, the, the hungry wolf. Let's just let it go. Let it go. The second the second proposal from Henry will now be discussed. Henry. Thank you very much everybody for participating in direct democracy and exercising your right to vote and, and voice your concerns here. That's what this is all about. Uh, my other proposal, which was uh, tabled quite some time ago, is about the structure of working groups. Uh, to bring some structure to work groups and to have it uh, recognized by a general assembly so that way people don't just show up and say, oh, I'm a work group and I have this going on. We have to have some kind of structure to how we recognize work groups and what they're doing. So uh, we've lost some work groups along the way. Some points of contact have changed. So first of all, I just propose a request, really, that uh, people involved with work groups uh, make sure that they do have a point of contact and that they do have a meeting time and uh, are making sure that the work group is functioning. The proposal is that uh, new work groups have to have some kind of statement of purpose or mission, uh, some kind of plan for how they plan to execute or implement uh, what it is they're working on. That could be something as simple as saying, I'm going to do research some kind of mission statement and some kind of plan for that mission statement to have reports at least once a week if we have three general assemblies a week that a working group will report at least once a week and that there is um, a point of contact that there can't be a working group without some person taking responsibility for that uh, contact with that working group and uh, that it is recognized by a GA. So th that a working group has to have a statement of purpose, an initial meeting time and point of contact to be recognized by a GA. So when you say recognized, do you mean voted on? Yes. Okay, so say, so say voted on and don't say recognized. So voted on by a general assembly and, and passed. Henry. Hang on, hang on. Still talking. So all officially recognized working groups through the GA would have four components. Got a question over here? A question of, I believe, I believe now don't, <laughs> I, I think that the, every working group, when they give their report or say what happened, they should say when their next meeting is going to be and where. So people who are not yeah. in the group, I didn't get that. Oh, I didn't hear that. Mission, plan of action, point of contact, and report backs. And next date of... Uh, and, and, and initial meeting time. Sometimes. And initial meeting. Though there's, there's five points that all working groups would be kind of required to have. Not initial. At every time they report, they say when the next meeting is going to be. Because you get people in and out of here who missed the last meeting. So and they have to be voted on. Is there more discussion on this? No, but I'd like Question? to say I blocked this last time. I retract my block this time. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, now it's time. Yeah. <laughs> well, time. well, that's right. All right, you were. That's right. You were. All right, the guy. folks. That's right. You were. So to clarify here, the question was, the question was, uh, will this be retroactive? And the answer is yes, because it was a two-part proposal. So I'll be clear about this. I have a note written here. So it's to have. We're at time. Uh, I'll ask, is it cool if we go on for five more minutes? I second we go on for five more minutes. All those in favor? Aye. Okay, great. So five more minutes. Thanks, Gina. So the whole point is to have a mission, of, uh, a mission statement or statement of purpose, some kind of plan which would include identifying roles and responsibilities. If it's media, we need somebody to contact the outside media, like newspapers and stuff. We need somebody to post online. So to have your roles and responsibilities, how are you going to do what you're going to do? A meeting time that the friendly amendment is to have the meeting time announced during all report backs. Uh, one of the points was to have report backs at least once a week and to have at least one point of contact that can be contacted to get a hold of the working group. And that this that the working group has to be voted on to be acknowledged by the GA. All right.
Can I offer a friendly amendment that the facilitators for the next five meetings, if, if this gets accepted, uh, just speak that so that the working groups can get used to doing all those things when they come up and do sure, the reports. Sure, just, just repeat this process and make sure repeat that the Repeat what they're supposed to do. Basically. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then there was another question, which I will say, is, the question was, is this retroactive? Does this go back to official working groups that are already established? I would say yes, because some right now there's some working groups that's very ambiguous what's going on, so I would ask to get a point of contact and a statement from the working groups to uh, acknowledge what they are currently working on and who the current point of contact is and so on. That's the proposal. I second it. There's a second from the proposal. Are there other friendly amendments? Um, I would just point out that some that there's an autonomy to working groups. Uh, does that does he, do these things address the uh, giving autonomy the, the the autonomy of the working groups? I mean, to address that like question, I would say that the working groups work on whatever it is that they're working on. They cannot make any decisions that affect the entire group, only the decisions that affect the working group or the project that they're working on. Yeah, I would say, I mean, we decided long ago that working groups are not autonomous, that the GA is what is autonomous, and that working groups serve the GA. The GA doesn't serve the working groups. And I, and I, I would say they're autonomous insofar as that the decisions are can, only uh, affecting the working group. They can decide when to meet and what they're right. going to work on, but they have, in, the, in order to affect the group, they have to bring the decision and let us decide in the Correct. GA. Can you so... Okay, so I'm going to repeat this proposal one more time and ask for all those in favor because we do have friendly amendments and concerns here. It is that all working groups will have a statement of purpose, some kind of plan for how they're going to do what they're going to do, such as identifying and assigning roles and responsibilities. That they're going to have a meeting time that can change, but they have to have some kind of meeting time, have to have some kind of point of contact, and that they have to be voted on to be recognized by the GA. And the, the friendly amendment was that at every report back, they will report when the next meeting...